friends, Amy Love here, and I'm so excited to bring to you this hashtag shabby ornaments collab. Um, I've teamed together with a bunch of very talented ladies to uh, bring you some Christmas ornament inspiration, which I'm very excited about because I love to get new ideas and different takes on Christmas ornaments because Christmas is my favorite. And I ap apologize for the state of my voice, but I have really been under the weather, weather lately and it's just the best I can do. <coughs> so my apologies. So first ornament I wanna start with is one that I've made before and it's one of my favorite things to do and it is to alter these big giant um, jingle bells that you can get at um, Hobby Lobby. I guess they're not giant because they do come bigger but it's definitely a decent size. And what I have learned over the years of decorating these is you need to paint it. <laughs> you need to paint it because things don't want to stick to this shiny metal. So I painted them and let me show you some of the ones that I created. So I usually paint them with a chalk paint and sometimes I will go over it with um, a glitter Mod Podge, but I didn't on this, t this time, I just left them in their uh, chalk paint state, which I think is beautiful. And so I add the uh, hanger first, and then I kind of just pile up pretties. <laughs> so my goal for these this time was I have this just ridiculous stash of paper flowers and sprays. And I decided that these ornaments, I was gonna dig into those because I wanna start using up some of this stuff. It's just silly. So I used um, some of these beautiful crystal, what I will hot glue on that guy. I'm gonna have to get that off in a minute. I had these beautiful crystal sprays in my um, stash and these pearl sprays, just so pretty. And then I uh, made a bow with this really pretty shimmery uh, ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. These are actually Prima flowers. That one's a Prima Poinsettia. Just gorgeous. And then on this side are some more um, of the glittered Prima flowers and another one of the Prima Poinsettias. And I just think they are so stinking cute. So I did make three of these, so I wanted to show you each one. Here is the pink one. I created using some pink chalk paint and I put another big um, bow on this one this is the same uh, this is ribbon I also get at Hobby Lobby it's really pretty sheer pink and then I had um, this kind of like a it's like a pine spray but pink it's <coughs> so cute it was like a pick that I cut the tips off of and put on there. And then I had the pink crystals and then another glittered flower and then one of the pink poinsettias. I really like the little gold um, stamens in the middle. I just think it's so cute. I made this hanger a little too short is why the other ones are so big. <laughs> but you know, it happens. And then I tucked in, I had these pearl sprays um, in my stash so I tucked the big pearls on the side and another beautiful glittery prima flower right there I just think these are gorgeous I love them they're so fun decorating the bells every year is just one of my favorite things so on this one I skipped the big bow and just kind of made a large cluster on the top um, I used these white leaves that I had in my stash more of the pink uh, crystal spray in a light pink and in a darker pink and more of the Prima flowers. On this side I had one more of these left um, that I just uh, cut the tip off of and then I added a little bow and a little white flower in there so these are so sweet. So those are the bells I created. Now the other two ornaments that I created are ones that I hadn't done before so I'm going to show you and hopefully you'll be able to see through the glare. I wanted to make some like shaker ornaments so I got these plastic squares at Hobby Lobby and I wanted to use the plastic ones because I feel safer about shipping <laughs> the plastic ones and then I had these beautiful images on these sheets that I got from my friend Edith Murphy and I used those, so I decoupaged 
those images on the back of the ornament and then I covered that with lace and then I put uh, a trim to cover up the edge of the lace and then um, well, I filled it, of course, with all these shaker bits. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, they're so pretty. I love it, love it. And then each one has a crinkled seam binding um, bow. And I do get my um, colored crinkled seam binding from my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. And then I popped in a little piece of bling. But the, all the images are different. So this one is a fairy. So cute. But I did the same technique with every one. This one is like a really shabby stack of books. So stinking cute. And look at all those bits in there. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then oh, look at this kitty. It's kind of got purple, so I used a purple bow. Look at how cute is that baby? These turned out so stinking cute. I just think they are adorable. I might take these to the craft fair with me. We'll see. There's like a vintage lady. And I tried to make sure that the shaker bits went with the color of the image. This is another fairy. And then this one is another fairy. There were a few fairies. Aren't they so cute? And this one is like a vintage um, dress form. So sweet. And I loved being able to do all these different colors. It was very cool. And then this one. So cute. So I absolutely <laughs> love how these turned out. I just think they're very cute and they were fun to do. And who doesn't love a shaker? So the last one that I'm going to show you that I created, these were actually on my uh, one of my Pinterest boards for a couple years and I wanted to give them a try and I thought they'd be fun at the craft fairs. So I ordered these test tubes on Amazon and I will have them in my Amazon shop linked below if you wanna go get some. But they're just so cute. So it is a glass test tube. I put some snow, glittery snow in the bottom and then I cut a bottle, a bottle brush tree to kinda of slip down in there. And then I was going to stamp on this dyed paper that I had, but I couldn't find a stamp with small enough script to fit. So I ended up having to uh, write on all of them myself. So this one says peace, which I don't know if you can see. It says peace. And then I put the, um, it's, you know, from Hobby Lobby. There, it looks like a pipe cleaner. Here they are right here. These, I use these to go around the top of the cork. And of course I put uh, a little hanger through the cork first with a pearl on top. And then I added these sweet little red bows. So I made a bunch of different, well, they're all the same. They just say something different. Like that one says peace. And this one says, oh, holy night. And I've got a few different ones, but I just think these are cute. And they're another item marked off my Pinterest, give it a go. <laughs> I'm really trying to work through those Pinterest boards, I gotta tell you. So um, that is what I created for this collaboration and I can't wait to see what everybody else made and I will have a link to everyone who is participating below. So be sure you go and check them out and I'd love to know what you think of my little ornaments, which one's your favorite? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank, I want to say a special thank you to all the ladies who agreed to uh, participate. It means so much to me and I'm just so happy that we're all doing this. All right, have a great day, everybody.